Fine Kitchen at Sam Lewis the Klutzy Cook here and today I'm doing a very quick video for you on how to freeze fruit which you might think is really basic but trust me there is a right way and there's definitely a wrong way. Okay so how to freeze fruit the right way. Before I get started I want to show you the wrong way and the wrong way is when you take your banana, your avocado as in this case, your berries or whatever and just throw them into a container you end up with a brick. They all stick together, they get iced over, and oh, I can't even break this apart. Oh, I can now, it's softened a bit, but generally it's very, very difficult to get your pieces separated and to be able to use them in smoothies, baking, or whatever you want. So, don't do that. Don't just throw them into a container. What you want to do is get your banana, berries, or whatever, and Cut them into the individual pieces, then pop them onto a baking tray with some lined with some paper, and essentially you're individually freezing the pieces this way, just like they do for peas and beans and all those sorts of things. They individually freeze them before they bag them up, because otherwise you end up with a brick. So there you go. So what you do is you just do that. With how many trays you need with, for whatever you've got, and get them into the freezer, and then you have individually individual pieces that you can then put into a container or bag up. And if your bananas start to go a bit brown like this, just, just straight away do this. And that way you don't have to fret about them wasting or using them in the baking. Do this, then you've got them for ready, when you're ready to use them in baking. Smoothies, I use them a lot in smoothies. Ice cream, I now just individually churn the pieces up and I've got ice cream. And instead of using ice in your smoothies, you have nice little ice bits of fruit that add to the um, coolness. Now once they're done, about four hours, uh, you should have hard pieces, but keep an eye on it. You don't want to leave them for 24 hours because then they'll start to go yucky. You want to get them off the tray and into a container. And this is what you get. You now have individual pieces that you can pick out and use as you need. As little or as many as you want for your smoothies, your baking or whatever. Much easier. So that's the right way. And this is definitely the wrong one. 